Hello everyone. This is Dr. Preeti Mehta from Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, School of Pharmacy, Vishwakarma University, Pune. First of all, I would like to thank the coordinators of the conference, that is IMCCRT 2022, for giving me an opportunity to present my research work entitled Development and Validation of UV Spectrophotometric Method for Simultaneous Estimation of Montelukka Sodium and acidrophiling in bulk and tablet usage form. Now we are aware that in developing countries, the pulmonary diseases, particularly asthma, have become a major health issue. And there are so many drugs available in the market which can be used for the treatment of asthma, like Montelukka sodium and acidrophiling. Montelukka sodium, which is a monosodium salt, is a leukotriene receptor antagonist and it is used for the treatment of asthma and to relieve symptoms of seasonal allergies. Another drug named acibrophilin, it is a xanthin derivative. It is also used as a bronchodilator for the treatment of bronchial asthma and COPD in adults. Now, to estimate these drugs in bulk and in pharmaceutical formulations, as per literature review, few methods are available like spectrophotometric, spectrofluorometric, RPHPLC and HPTLC. But very few analytical methods have been reported till date for the combination of these two drugs. So what is the objective of the present study? The present research work aims to develop a simple, sensitive, accurate and reproducible UV method for simultaneous estimation of Montelukka sodium and acibrophilin in the combined dosage form. So the present work describes absorbance correction uh, spectroscopic method for the determination of Montelukast and acidrophiline in tablet dosage form. And the proposed method was validated as per the guidelines given by the International Conference on Harmonization or ICH. Moving towards the experimental part, the materials used for this research work are two APIs, that is acidrophiline and Montelukast which were obtained from the pharmaceutical companies like Lupin Pharmaceutical Limited Pune and Maclear's Pharmaceutical Limited Mumbai as gift samples respectively. Methanol, which is used to dissolve these drugs, it was used as an AR grade. Instruments used were UV visible double beam spectrophotometer of model variant carry 100 and electronic balance having models Shimadzu AUW 2202, which was used for weighing the chemicals. Methods. First, the stock solutions, working stands or standard solutions of the two APIs were prepared. The procedure involved to prepare the acibrophilin stock or working standard solution is 25 milligram of acibrophilin. It was transferred to 25 ml of volumetric flask. It was dissolved and diluted up to 25 ml with the methanol to get a concentration 1000 microgram per ml. From that solution, <clears throat> working standard solution of 100 microgram per ml of acibrophilin was obtained by diluting the solution further with methanol. Same procedure was used to prepare the Montelukka stock or working standard solution. Here, the stock solution of Montelukast having concentration of 1000 microgram per ml was prepared by weighing 25 milligram of Montelukast and by dissolving and diluting the solution up to the mark with methanol. Further, the 100 microgram per ml of Montelukast solution was obtained by diluting the solution with methanol. Next step was selection of wavelength for, to determine the maximum absorption. And for that, overlay spectra of both these drugs, that is acibrophilin and Montelukka sodium, was obtained by scanning the solution containing different concentrations of, of these two drugs in methanol using UV spectrophotometer in the spectrum mode in the range of 200 to 400 nanometer. You can see in the image, in, in the figure, this is the overlay spectra of acibrophilin and Montelukka sodium. And from this overlaid spectra, analytical wavelengths for detection of both the drugs were selected. Further, 
The stability study of the prepared standard solutions was also checked. For that, the absorbance of the solution was taken for two hours at the interval of 15 minutes. Then calibration curves of both these drugs were derived. For that, the standard working standard solutions of acibrofilin and montelukast, they were they diluted first with the methanol to get the six replicate series of standard solutions having the concentration range of 100 to 200 microgram per ml for acibrofilin and 5 to 10 microgram per ml for montelukast. Now these dilutions were used to prepare the calibration curve. And for that, absorbance of these prepared solutions having the concentration of 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, and 200 microgram per ml for acibrofilin and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 microgram per ml for montelukast were measured at the wavelengths of 313.70 nanometer for acibrofilin and 345 nanometer for montelukast. From the absorbance that we get from these different concentrations, calibration curve of absorbance against concentrations were plotted for both these drugs. And using this calibration curves, absorptivity coefficients were determined at both the wavelengths. Next, the formulation that is a combined dosage form that is tablet dosage form, they were analyzed. For that, the procedure followed was 20 tablets of the brand name that is Telecast A, which is having both drugs that is acibrofilin and montelukast, were weighed to determine the average weight and then triturated to get a fine powder. From that powder, an accurately weighed quantity equivalent to 20 milligram of acibrofilin was transferred to 20 ml volumetric flask and a minimum quantity of methanol was added to dissolve the substance. Then the solution is further diluted up to 20 ml with the methanol. That solution was further sonicated for 15 minutes and it is centrifuged for another 15 minutes. And then it is filtered through Waterman filter paper to get a clear solution. Further dilutions were made by diluting 1 ml of this solution into 10 ml with the methanol to get the solution having concentration of 100 microgram per ml, which all uh, that concentration is of acibrofilin, which also contained 5 microgram per ml of mantelicast theoretically. Now, the absorbance of this prepared sample solution was measured at all the selected wavelengths. From those absorbances, the content of acibrofilin and montelukast in the sample solution of the tablet was calculated. The same procedure was repeated for six times. The developed method was validated for different parameters like linearity, precision, LOD, and LOQ, and accuracy. So, the first point, linearity. Linearity of the proposed analytical method was checked by diluting the standard stock, sol stock solution of both these drugs at di six different concentrations, that is 100 to 200 microgram per ml for acibrofilin and 5 to 10 microgram per ml for montelukast. Acibrofilin was found to be linear with the concentration range of 100 to 200 microgram per ml at the wavelength of 313.70 nanometer, while Montelukar sodium was found to be linear in the concentration range of 5 to 10 microgram per ml at 345 nanometer. The calibration curves of absorbance against concentration were plotted for both these drugs, and then optical parameters were calculated. So these are the calibration curves. First one, you can see this is a calibration curve of acidrofilin, which was found to be linear in the concentration range of 100 to 200 microgram per ml. The second figure indicates the linear, linearity graph of modulocast sodium, which was found to be linear in the concentration range of 1 to 5 microgram per ml. Next parameter was derived, that was precision. Precision, nothing but repeatability of the method, it was confirmed by the analysis of formulation, which was done for the six times with the same concentration. 
intraday and interday analysis was carried out to confirm the intermediate precision of the method. And for that, the analysis of formulation was repeated three times on the same day and on three successive days. And from that, the amount of each drug present in the tablet formulation was determined. The observations that uh, we got have been represented in the given table. Interday analysis indicates aciprofilin, the amount taken of aciprofilin from the tab uh, tablet was 20 milligram. After analysis, amount found to be 19.88 milligram. Montelukar sodium, the amount taken from the tablet was one milligram and amount found or amount calculated was 1.01 milligram. Intraday analysis was done to determine the precision, intraday precision. For that, again, the acidophilin drug was taken 20 milligram. Amount found was 19.75 milligram. Montelukar sodium, one milligram of uh, the powder or tablet, this Montelukar sodium drug was taken from the tablet and the amount found to be 0.92. You can see the standard deviation values as well as coefficient of variation values were found to be very low. Next parameter determined was LOD and LOQ, that is limit of detection and limit of quantitation. Limit of de uh, detection and limit of quantitation of the proposed method were established according to ICE definitions and it is reported in the table 2, which is indicated in the next slide. In this study, LOD and LOQ were calculated using the standard deviation of the response and the slope of the corresponding curve as per the following equations. Limit of detection was calculated using the formula 3.3, standard deviation divided by S. S is the slope of calibration curve. LOQ was calculated with the formula 10 SD divided by S. So SD here is the standard deviation of the absorbance of the sample and S is the slope of calibration curves. Next parameter determined was accuracy. Accuracy of the method was determined by performing the recovery study. Now here, uh, while performing the recovery study, each level was repeated three times. And this recovery study was carried out by adding a known quantity of pure drug to the pre-analyzed formulation. And the proposed method was allowed, followed. And from the amount of drug found, percentage recovery was calculated. The observations of LOD and LOQ and accuracy was represented in the uh, table given here. So the first drug that is acidrophilin, having the label claim of 200 milligram. The amount taken for the analysis was 100 milligram of acyclophilin. Amount found to be 99.97. So percentage recovery was 99.97. Uh, Standard deviation values were very low. Limit of detection value is 4.916 and a limit of quantitation was found to be 14.89 microgram per ml. For Montelukar sodium, having level claim of 10 milligram, the amount taken was 5 milligram, amount found to be 4.98 milligram, percentage recovery found to be 96.24, limit of detection was found to be 0.835 microgram per ml, and limit of quantitation was found to be 2.5 microgram per ml. These are the observations of uh, the parameters accuracy and limit of detection and limit of quantitation. So from this uh, parameter determination or validation of analytical method, it was found that the developed method was based upon the direct estimation of Montelukar sodium at the wavelength of 345 nanometer. As at this wavelength, the acibrophilin drug showed zero absorbance and no interference. At 334 nanometer, these two drugs showed absorbance. To estimate the amount of acidrophilin, the absorbance of Montelukar sodium were corrected for interference at the wavelength of 334 nanometer by using absorptivity values. The proposed method obeyed Beer's law in the concentration range of 5 to 10 microgram per ml for acidrophilin and 100 to 200 microgram per ml for Montelukar sodium. 
The developed analytical method was found to be accurate, precise, sensitive, and reproducible after its validation as per the ICH guidelines. So by using proposed method, we can estimate Montelukar sodium and acylglufalin simultaneously in bulk as well as in combination dosage form of tablet as well. Stability of solution, it was for the solution was found to be stable for two hours. So the conclusion of the proposed work here is a simple, sensitive, and specific UV spectrophotometric absorption correction method has been developed for the determination of Montelukast and acidrophilic in pure form as well as in pharmaceutical formulation. The developed method was validated according to ICH guidelines and it was found to be accurate and precise. Thus, the proposed method can be successfully applied for the simultaneous determination of both these drugs, that is Montelukast and acidrophilic in bulk and in combined tablet dosage form as well. These are the few uh, key refer references which I have gone through before starting the proposed work. Thank you so much. This is all from my side. Thank you once again for giving me an, an opportunity to represent my work. Thank you so much.